Bangladesh uh, France relations continue to be uh, excellent. Uh, uh, they have shown uh, uh, continuously uh, their understanding and support uh, to the situation of Bangladesh, uh, including uh, the recent uh, Rana Plaza tragedy. We are uh, working with the French government and the French uh, business community to see that uh, the French uh, importers do not abandon Bangladesh, rather they stay in Bangladesh, remain engaged with our textile industry uh, so that uh, we can work together to improve the uh, working condition and uh, work plus, uh, plus safety uh, in, in the garment industry in Bangladesh. And we are uh, trying to meet as many uh, stakeholders as possible in France. Uh, France is very important in the sense that uh, uh, France is the fourth largest uh, uh, importer of Bangladeshi goods and textile products, uh, garment uh, uh, products uh, are uh, the majority, the lion's, uh, the constitute the lion's share of uh, our export to this country. So we are meeting uh, some uh, uh, very uh, relevant and powerful uh, associations. Uh, we have met uh, the textile uh, uh, industry association, uh, uh, they call it UET, and we have also met the French Apparel Association. And uh, during our interaction with them, we have seen that they have uh, a great deal of understanding about the situation in Bangladesh, and uh, they would like to continue to work uh, with the garment industry in Bangladesh. For uh, many reasons, there are two important reasons for that. Uh, number one is that uh, Bangladesh over the last 20 years uh, uh, has established itself as a very reliable uh, supplier, uh, a very reliable sourcing uh, uh, country for uh, uh, apparel industry uh, in, in Europe and America. So all of a sudden, it is not really possible to find out another uh, reliable source like uh, Bangladesh. So uh, in their own interest, they would uh, like to continue to work with Bangladesh so that they don't lose this uh, very important uh, sourcing country. And the other aspect is also, uh, of course, the humanitarian aspect of the thing, uh, that uh, uh, textile uh, and apparel industry in Bangladesh uh, uh, provides uh, uh, employment opportunity to about uh, 4 million uh, uh, workers, uh, uh, including uh, uh, a large portion, uh, which is uh, women. The international community this time understands that uh, to improve the working condition and uh, the safety uh, at workplace in Bangladesh, uh, it is a uh, global responsibility. It is uh, not possible for the Bangladeshi government and the industry alone to improve uh, the situation. The international community has also a role to, to play, uh, including uh, the donor community and uh, major retailers in the Western countries. So we have seen a great deal of understanding and support uh, and sympathy among uh, the retailers and uh, the donor countries. Uh, you know that our Honorable uh, Foreign Minister went to Brussels last month to hold uh, talks with uh, the leadership of uh, European Union. And uh, uh, the European Union has uh, shown uh, a great uh, degree of understanding and expressed their uh, continued support and continuous engagement with Bangladesh. Uh, so. Uh, even uh, we have seen that other international organizations are also uh, telling the same thing that it is not uh, a, an option to abandon Bangladesh. Rather, uh, it, it is uh, uh, the, the, the duty, responsibility of the international community to remain engaged with Bangladesh. We are taking the benefit of the presence of OECD headquarters in Paris and uh, we have established contact with them. Uh, we have uh, requested them to extend their support uh, as well uh, 
to the situation in Bangladesh after the Sabar tragedy. Uh, OECD, which is uh, the club of all the rich uh, and powerful countries, uh, uh, I think uh, can play a very important role in, uh, uh, in managing uh, proper engagement between the donor community, uh, the, the large uh, retailers in uh, Europe and America, and Bangladesh uh, government and Bangladesh uh, uh, government industry. OECD Secretary General has uh, invited our Honorable uh, Foreign Minister to participate uh, at uh, a global uh, forum on uh, responsible uh, business conduct, uh, which will be held uh, in Paris uh, from 26 to 27 of June. And we are hoping that the Honorable Minister will be able to come and uh, uh, with uh, her delegation, she will possibly bring uh, one representative from the, the workers' community in Bangladesh and also the employers' uh, group in Bangladesh. So that uh, we take the opportunity to uh, give our uh, comprehensive uh, uh, position, the government position, the position of the employers, and also the position of the workers uh, as to how we can work together to improve uh, the situation, uh, working condition, and uh, worker safety in uh, garment industry. Uh, because that is vitally important for us uh, if we uh, want to continue our competitiveness in our ready-made garment industry. Ready-made garment industry uh, not only gives us the lion's share of our uh, export earning, but it also uh, employs uh, almost 4 million uh, workers in Bangladesh. Uh, and uh, out of these 4 million workers, more than 80% are women. So that's very important. It is not only the demand of the international community uh, to improve the situation uh, uh, in the ready-made garment industry of Bangladesh. It is also a realization on the part of the government of Bangladesh, the textile industry itself, including the workers and uh, the employers, and uh, uh, Bangladeshi society at large, because uh, this is something, this kind of tragedy, this kind of accident, uh, uh, cannot be justified uh, uh, in any way. And uh, we do not want to see the repetition of uh, such accident in future. It is not only a matter of uh, great uh, human uh, loss, him loss of uh, uh, human life, but it is also a question of uh, survival uh, of Bangladesh uh, in the international community as a trading nation. So uh, I do not see any uh, dearth of uh, seriousness on the part of the government and also our industry. And to demonstrate our seriousness, we have joined international labor organization to, uh, uh, dec at, on a joint, joint declaration in which uh, we have committed that we'll make a uh, serious reform uh, in the industry uh, in terms of giving more uh, uh, rights to the workers in terms of uh, improving the safety and security uh, of uh, uh, workers in the workplace, and also in terms of uh, making uh, a uh, long-term reform to our industry. We have also uh, joined the European Union uh, to, to uh, show our uh, commitment that we are very serious about these reforms. Uh, these reforms may be uh, painful uh, uh, in the short term, uh, but uh, these are necessary and uh, uh, we will do it.